The difference between Xanax and Ativan, Xanax and Ativan are both benzos and how they affect your system is a little different. At least this is my experience with these drugs. Uh, I was put on Xanax uh, after I'd gotten sober, especially because I struggled a lot with anxiety with the help of my psychiatrist uh, and psychologist, um, just kind of trialed and errored it with some medications to really help me get my life kind of back in order and stable. And these are the differences that I noticed between the two drugs. If you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. What's up guys, my name is Eric and I am diagnosed with ADHD, PTSD, GAD. Um, and again, I've been through a lot in life when it comes to, I lost a wife and a father to suicide, diagnosed with level one autism, and I'm a recovering cocaine alcoholic addict. This video here is really about the differences that I noticed between Xanax and Ativan. Uh, both are benzos, both are addictive drugs. Benzodiazepines are addictive drugs. They do have a very, um, different nature about them that they affect your central nervous system. So when it comes to getting off of these drugs, uh, you definitely want to do it with the help and support of a doctor um, to taper off of these drugs. But the differences that I noticed with them was only one huge difference. Like what the drugs did for me is they literally did calm me down. They put me into a relaxed state. Uh, they didn't make me a zombie. And of course, if you take too much, it can put you into that zombie state, but it did relax me a lot. Uh, but the difference is, is how it hit my system. So with Xanax, Xanax hit into my system in a good 15 minutes or so. Um, I could notice the effects of Xanax. It calmed me down. It slowed me down very quickly. Where Ativan, it took almost up to an hour, it felt like, in my system for it to really get me to the point of calmness. Where if anyone knows where you've taken something, you're waiting for it to kick in, it's almost like more anxiety starts to build and starts to pick up because you are not calming down where when it comes to something like Xanax, it did hit my system a lot faster. Uh, both though, when it finally were in my system, I was calmed, I was relaxed. Um, you are able to take it with uh, Adderall. Does it cancel out some of the effects? It does, uh, but there is still some focus still there. Uh, the other big difference that I noticed then too is when it came to getting out of your system, um, Xanax kind of dropped me a little bit quicker. Um, Xanax, once it kind of wore off, it wore off. And I knew that it was off, if that makes sense. Um, it was a quicker, firmer drop, essentially, where with um, the Ativan, Ativan actually gradually got out of my system a lot slower. Uh, Ativan lasted in my system a lot longer than what uh, Xanax did. Xanax lasted in my system for just a few hours, where Ativan seemed to last in my system for like forever. Um, it almost like slowed down time for me. Uh, both of these medications do work, and this is why I think it's so important to do trial and error with your therapist, with your doctors, uh, when it comes to these medications, because each medication does affect you differently, and how it affects somebody will affect somebody else differently. And again, this is why they make all these different medications and these different drugs out there, but the only way that you're gonna have any success through the trial and error is to firmly explain to your doctor how this drug makes you feel, and what your feeling is with this drug and then working with them to find the one that works best for you. A lot of times we will just accept it. The doctor prescribes you a medication, you take that medication, and that's just what it's supposed to be. If you don't feel right or you feel that it especially drops you too quick or hits you too hard, too fast, communicate that with your therapist so that you can work with your therapist to find a medication that affects your system and works into your system a little bit gradually, a little bit easier where it's not almost these big, huge mood changes hitting uh, because that alone can throw you for a wreck. And for the one out there going through it, I understand and I've been there. Just know this, that trial and error does work. It's just, it's a long road. Hit the like and follow button, comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And I love to just share through my experiences because I'm not a doctor, I'm not a counselor, I'm not a therapist, but I found the more that I'm able to share my experiences, the more that it's able to help anybody out there struggling know that it's all right and know that it gets better. So for the one going through it, never forget how amazing you are and it will get better and you are worth it every single day.